In this video, I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to create this VHS effect in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, the first thing I'm going to do to create this VHS effect is go up here to the color tab, and then I'm going to open up Basic Correction under Lumetri Color. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and bring up the contrast to about 52, looks good to me. And then I'm gonna drop the whites down, say about negative 51.3 works for me. So that's gonna give it that heavy contrast and like little detail in the whites. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and close that basic correction and open up the creative tab. Now what I wanna do is bring those blacks up. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go over here under faded film and I'm gonna bring that up to about 28. 28.1 looks good to me. And for the sharpness, I'm going to drop that down significantly to give it that low quality look. So I'm just going to drop this down to about negative 72. Yeah, that looks good. Negative 72.5 works. And then I want to take away from the color to bring down the quality even less. So I'm going to drop the vibrance down to about negative 36. Negative 36.3 works. And the last thing I'm going to do in the creative tab is go down under shadow tint and I'm going to give this like a pinkish red hue. So I'm just going to click here kind of make this a little bit more subtle. Mm, that looks pretty good to me. Once I'm good with that, I'll go ahead and close the creative tab and open up the curves tab. I'm gonna start off by adjusting the RGB curve. So with this white dot selected, I'm just going to click this top portion here and I'm going to drag this down the line to about right here. That looks good to me. And that's just kind of crushing those whites even more, taking out that detail. Then what I'm gonna do is select this green dot here and I'm going to click the very top point and I'm gonna drag this over ever so slightly, not very much at all. Right there looks good to me. And then I'm gonna take the blue dot and I'm going to drag that blue point down ever so slightly to about right there. And it should give you that nice looking yellow hue. From there, I'm just gonna close up the curves tab and I'm gonna go down here to vignette and under amount, I'm just going to change this to about negative one. Yeah, about negative 1.1 looks good to me. The next thing I'm gonna do is go back up here to the editing tab, and then I'm gonna go down here, if you don't see it already, to these double arrows and go down to effects, and I'm gonna type in channel blur. And I'm going to click and drag channel blur onto my clip. And channel blur is gonna really start to make this effect look and come to life. So I'm gonna start off by bringing that red blurriness up to about 20, we'll go like 23. And I'm going to leave green and blue blurriness at zero because if I bring those up, it's gonna make the entire clip blurry and I don't wanna go for that look right now. And I'm going to check repeat edge pixels. And instead of doing blur dimensions horizontal and vertically, I'm just going to select vertical for now. Then I'm going to add a second channel blur onto the clip and I'm going to make this a horizontal blur dimension. So I'll add a little bit more red blurriness. We'll go for like about 15. And then I'm going to add some blue blurriness as well. We'll change that to about 32. 32 looks good to me. And then I have to make sure I check repeat edge pixels. And now you can start to see that blue and red hue on the vertical and horizontal portions of the clip giving it that low quality look. Next thing I'm gonna do is go back over here under effects and I'm going to type in unsharp mask. And I'm going to click and drag unsharp mask onto my clip. Scroll down under effects controls again. And for the amount, I'm going to change this to 100. And I'm gonna change the radius to about 14. Now the last thing that I'm gonna add is something that's optional is a little bit of noise. So I'm just gonna type in noise under the effects portion and I'm going to go down here under noise and grain and click and drag that onto the clip. And what I'm going to do is first uncheck use color noise and I'll bring this up to about let's say 10. And what that's going to do is just kind of add some grain into the footage to make it look more realistic for that time frame. Once I'm happy with that in order to save myself a ton of time for the next time that I want to create this effect instead of going through all these steps every single time what I'm going to do is go ahead and collapse every single one of these effects and then I'm gonna select every single one of them. So I'm gonna click on the your color, hold down command, and then select all of the effects that I use to create this VHS effect. I'm going to then right click and then select save preset. Then what I'm gonna do is type in VHS effect. And I'm just, what I'm going to title this preset so I can just simply click and drag this preset onto my clip the next time and I won't have to go through these steps every single time. Make sure that you have for type scale selected 
and press OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these effects from this clip just to show you how this works. Go ahead and exit out this, go down to presets, and then under VHS effect here, I can click and drag that onto that clip and notice how it's done in just seconds. Now there's one last thing that we can do to really sell this effect or this look, and that is creating those four by three aspect ratio black bars on the left and right side. So in order to create that, I'm gonna go back over to these double arrows, go to the project table, right click inside of there, go to new item and select adjustment layer. Make sure it matches your video settings and then press okay. Then I'm gonna click and drag that adjustment layer above my clip on the timeline. Go ahead and select that adjustment layer. Go to the double arrows again, go down to effects, and now I'm going to type in crop. Under transform, where it says crop here, I'm gonna click and drag crop onto that adjustment layer. And then under effects controls here, where it says crop, I'm gonna do for left, I'm gonna change this to 13%. And for right, I'm gonna change this to 13%. And then the last thing I'm gonna do to really, really sell this effect is get rid of this sharp line here on both sides. So in order to do that, I'm gonna change this edge feather to 13 as well. And that just softened up the edge enough to make it look realistic. And now I'll just go ahead and play it back. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video at it like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.